In this problem, we're given some information about the Skydive Equipment Incorporated, uh, this company that's manufacturing equipment for skydiving. So we give, we're given some information about them and their company, and we want to come up with the cost function, the revenue function, and the profit function. So we have the fixed cost for their free fall one outfit is $7,700 per month. Labor and materials for each free fall one outfit is, four, is $43. And the company sells the free fall one outfits to dealers for $61. So the first thing we're going to come up with is our cost function. So when we're determining our cost function, remember that the cost can involve two different factors. We can have either fixed costs and variable costs. Now, fixed costs tend to be things like paying rent or some uh, costs that you kind of know what are going to be uh, month to month. So you'll notice on this one that we say the fixed cost for this outfit is $7,700 per month. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in, $7,700 per month here for my fixed cost. Now the variable cost is going to change depending on how many of these outfits we actually sell. So you can see in that next line, labor and materials for each outfit is $43. So for every outfit we sell, it's going to cost us $43 uh, to make the outfit. All right, X is gonna represent our number of outfits. X equals the number of outfits. Um, and I'm using X even though it wasn't defined in the, the word problem itself there. You can see that this is the cost C of X. So X is gonna represent the number of outfits. All right, next up, we wanna uh, formulate the revenue, the total revenue R of X. So in this case, that's the money that's coming in. All right, and you can see from our last line here, it says that the company sells the free fall on outfits to dealers for $61. So for every outfit we sell, we're gonna bring in $61. So we can say 61 multiplied by the number of outfits that we sell, that's X. All right, lastly, we wanna compute what is the profit function. So profit is all the money that comes in so we sometimes call that revenue minus all of the costs. So revenue minus cost. And we've already represented these up above. So now we just need to fill in. We can represent our revenue with 61 X minus our cost function from up above. We're gonna plug in 7,700 plus 43 X. Notice that I included parentheses around my cost function because the whole thing needs to be subtracted away from our revenue function. With that, we're going to next distribute this negative or negative one out in front to each of those terms for the cost function. So what that's gonna give us is 61X minus 7,700 minus 43X. Um, that's where most people make their mistakes is they forget to distribute to both of those terms. Now we can clean this up a little bit more by combining our like terms. It looks like we have 61 X minus 43 X's. That's gonna leave us with 18 X's minus 7,700. And that represents our profits. All right, now we could be asked a follow-up question where we're given specific numbers to plug into each of these. Um, I'll go ahead and do that real quickly so you can see how that looks, but plugging into function shouldn't be that bad. Um, on the first one, we wanna find the cost of selling 500 of these outfits. So I'm gonna use my cost function up above. I'm gonna plug in 7,700 plus 43 multiplied by 500. So I've replaced the X for my cost function at the top with a 500. From here, we got 29,200, and that'll be in dollars because cost is in dollars. Next, we wanna calculate the revenue that we bring in for selling 500 outfits. So I'm going to use the revenue function up at the top. So it's gonna be 61 multiplied by 500, which is 30,500, again, in dollars. And finally, our profit. Um, one way to get this profit would be taking the revenue, 30,500 minus the cost of producing 500 outfits, 29,200, subtracting those, or we could use the function that we came up with, 18 
multiplied by 500 minus 7,700. So in this case, I believe we get $1,300 profit. All right. Well, I hope this helps um, eliminate, eliminate some of the uh, questions on this. Good luck to you. Till next time.